Hi guys, today I will be showing you one of the best apps for remote mouse and keyboard and remote control for iTunes music, keynote, PowerPoint slides on your Mac all in one. You can also use it to remotely control your Mac to shut down, sleep, restart and lock off. So without further ado, let's get started. First, you need to download an app called Remote Mouse for both your Mac and your iPhone or iPad. To download this app for your Mac, you have to go to App Store, it's free. Type in Remote Mouse here. And you do the same with your iPhone. Go to App Store, search Remote Mouse here. And you can also see that you can also use your Apple Watch to control it too. It also support Apple Watch. After you install it, next and most important thing is you need to make sure that both your Mac and your iPhone or iPad are connected to the same Wi-Fi so that you are able to remotely control your Mac. After that, you are good to go. So just go to your iPhone and open Remote Mouse app here. So right out of the box, without paying anything, you are able to use your iPhone or iPad as a remote control mouse. So I need to turn this on for my Mac. Now, you can see right now I am using the mouse, but I am touching my iPhone screen. And also you can use the keyboard by clicking here at the top. If for example, I want to search for something like YouTube, I type on my iPhone keyboard and then click enter. You see it's loading on my Mac. So you can use it as a remote mouse and keyboard. And one great thing about this app is that it allows you to use force touch on your iPhone 6s or above as the right click mouse. So once you force click on your iPhone screen, it will turn into the right click and you will feel the force touch as your iPhone will vibrate too. So like I click on this folder, if I force click on the screen, on my iPhone screen, it will vibrate. It makes use of force touch on my iPhone 6s as the right click. Also with the free version, you can only use the mouse in the portrait mode like what I'm doing now on my iPhone screen. This is in the portrait mode. If you want to use in the landscape mode like this, it will have a pop-up message saying you have to buy the pro version which will cost you $1.99. For that if you want to use in the landscape mode but if you don't if you want to use only in a portrait mode you don't have to buy. Also with the free version you can remotely shut down sleep or restart or lock off your Mac with just one click of a button. Like you click on here and you can see at the bottom they have shut down sleep restart and lock off. Let's say if I click on sleep and they ask me are you sure you want to put computer to sleep just click sleep it will Sleep. But because right now I'm recording the video, I cannot turn my Mac into a sleep mode. You can also shut it down, restart, lock off. Again, from a far away distance, as long as your phone and your Mac are able to access the same Wi-Fi, even though you are 100 meters away from your Mac, you are still able to shut down your Mac remotely. You can also remotely open all the apps in the dock here. All of these apps, you can remotely open it or close it by clicking here. So you can see these are all the apps in the dock that I can open including the Siri app. So which means you can remotely activate your Siri as well. Let me show you here. I click on Siri. You can see Siri start working now. You were saying. So when you click on Siri in your phone, you can remotely control it as well. You can open any app. You can open the launch pad here like this. You can open Safari. You can open iTunes. You can open any apps on the dock here. However, if you want to remotely control your media, which includes iTunes Music, Keynote, PowerPoint, Hulu, Windows Media Players for PC, and Photo Viewer, you need to buy an in-app purchase by clicking here. You can see here, you say GoPro and then Media Remote. Before that, you will see the word Get, like the web remote here, they say Get. If it is the first time for you, you will see that. But because I have already bought it, which cost me $1.99, so if you want to remotely control control your media you have to pay for in-app purchase also if you want to remotely control your web browsers like chrome or firefox or safari or internet explorer or opera and more you have to pay another $1.99 you can see here web remote but to get this you have to pay another $1.99 so let's see the media remote this is what I recommend you to buy but if you don't want it's okay but I think this is the most useful in-app purchase feature that you should be buying here you can see at the top you click on this so what this feature does is it allows you to remotely control your iTunes music like if I click play in the middle here You can see my iTunes music start playing. Just click the play and pause in the middle. You can also turn up and down the music. You can click the top here to turn up and down the music. You can see. 
Also, if you go to iTunes again, you can also skip forward or backward with these two as well. If I play. Okay, you can see. And also on the right hand side, you see the small round buttons. The middle one is like a pause. If I play. Based off of love. Here, I click the middle one, it also pause. If I click that cross button at the bottom, it will close the app that is currently opening. For example, right now I'm on iTunes, if we click cross button here, start closing. Like this app are running too, if we click that, it will close. It's very handy. And also with this media remote, you can also control your presentation as well. If I go to Keynote, I have a presentation here. Okay, I can also use this remote to control the presentation. Again, you can stand from your Mac as far as you want to. As long as you are connected to the same Wi-Fi, you can control it from 20 or 30 meters away from your Mac. If I click the play button in the middle, it will start the slideshow. Okay, you can see. And you can use the same button that you used to skip forward or backward to move to the next slides or move back to the previous slides. And to stop the slideshow, you can click on the middle or click on the middle button to stop or you can click the top button as well, the top right button. The same with the PowerPoint. It also works with PowerPoint, like I have this. If I click play in the middle, here, see it start PowerPoint. If you have Hulu app also works or if you're using PC you have Windows media players it also works with that and if you go to the settings by clicking the top left here in settings in the middle at the bottom here and you can see at the top this is special feature and it's a volume button control which means you can use your your iPhone's physical volume buttons on the side to turn up or down the volume of your Mac as well which is really cool let me show you example here right now I'm clicking the volume up and down button on the side You can set the touch pad speed as well and turn on or turn off secondary click. Also, you can use two finger scroll to pinch to zoom in or out or move a window with three fingers. Let me show you here. If I'm on Safari, you can zoom in or out like this. Right now, I'm using my iPhone screen, not my trackpad. You do the same like what you're doing on your trackpad. You just use two fingers to zoom in or out. Also, with three fingers, you can move the window as well. So like this window, I can use three finger to move. See, like this. You can also change the mouse to be left-handed or right-handed or right-handed, depending on your preference. Here, turn it on. It become left-handed. Turn it back off. If you turn it back off, it means you're right-handed. You can also lock the rotation, like just in case you don't want your iPhone to be in the landscape mode, you just click lock rotation. Also, you can change the wallpaper. Right now, my wallpaper is green, but you can change it to whatever wallpaper you want. You can change by clicking gallery here. Click OK. You can add your own. I like can add the dog done you can see so to me being able to control my Mac remotely on Wi-Fi is really awesome because I am able to control my Mac not only across the room but throughout my entire house as long as my Wi-Fi is accessible I am still in control of my Mac even though it is far away from me so you can leave your Mac on the desk turning on while you are walking to your bed which is like five or seven meters away and then you remotely turn your Mac off from the comfort of your bed which is really awesome okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you do please don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video